Well, hello everyone here, right here is like talking about is like, you know, for the student manager connectivity right here. As you see right here is I went ahead and drew some sketches right here of some students inside of a classroom. And the one that you have right here is the teacher. And uh, with the teacher that uh, it's like that they will be wearing any type of, of skirts. Uh, that uh, knowing that uh, with the skirt right here and uh, knowing the type of teacher right here with this teacher that, that they would be like, you know, maybe announcing about, you know, an assignment, you know, due date or something like that, or, you know, any type of, you know, if it's like, you know, for, for the deadline or anything like that, you know, like for whenever something's past due, and as well as knowing about any other types of responsibilities for the students, but on the hand that you have right here is like example right here of a classroom, and just knowing about that, the, that if we were to, it's like, uh, well, while if we would be going into the classroom and taking down notes, it is, and as well as, uh, you know, anything that more likely that, that we don't understand, you know, that type of stuff, and uh, knowing about, you know, that we uh, go to school, if it's school or on a job or something like that, you'll be taking down notes, and it's like, uh, you know, really about the, the number of things that uh, more likely that uh, are required as well as, you know, understanding about what we got to do. And uh, some that may say that for like the students man the student manager is knowing about the with one is it could be it's like that yeah for like um managing the finances as well as uh, you know paying for the books and supplies and as well as taking down notes but let's just say on average though that uh, if we come in a situation to where the score is not that great and then that we don't earn enough credits or we the scores uh, less than perfect you know not enough to pass or something like that and knowing about really that uh, you spend more time in the classroom, uh, you know, maybe more advanced, you know, type experience with the tutor, you know, something like that. But on the other hand, too, that knowing about, I'm like, if anybody would say that, I'm like, yeah, well, where is you? I'm like, if this, uh, if uh, I would be at about maybe right here, talk about it's like, you know, my you know, study desk right here, along with a few other students right here, and knowing about if students were to be like, yeah, same thing with the, with the, you know, their parents or husbands and wives, that uh, knowing about that, um, you know, for you know, any legal guardians that uh, knowing about anybody who's concerned about how well somebody was doing in the class, you know, that type of stuff. But on the hand, and knowing about it, uh, for the most part, is that if we would be going to school or if it's on a job, though, is knowing that uh, I'm like, really, that, uh, that, you know, for what's required, you know, just to be able to pass the class, you know, just to be able to, to get this type of, you know, earn this type of skill. And knowing about, well, you know, you just, uh, if you don't understand it, well, then that's just too bad. You know, some that may say that that's just too bad. Well, you know, here's the thing. You know, like, well, you know, you come to class, you know, you you know, you do the do the work or you don't do the work. And then that, it's like, if you turn in wrong, well, that's, that's your problem. That's your own fault, that type of situation. But on your hand, that knowing about, really, about if anybody, you know, the way I would think about it, would say is knowing about, hey, I'm paying for the course, and uh, on your hand, that uh, I'm taking the time to learn the course, and for whatever that's required, is knowing about, you know, for I'll do what it takes, you know, just to get to that level to where I I can score, you know, the perfect score, if it's going to be a, a B plus or an A plus or, you know, a C plus, you know, one of those scores like that, you know, to like maybe an 89 to a 90 to 75. And knowing about really that um, some that may say that I'm like well I, well you know there are some requirements too but then on your hand and knowing about I'm like really that uh, you know if we answer a question knowing about for a student manager are we really paying for the courses and then knowing about for for what the state requirements are and as well as knowing about and understanding about about if it's going to be like a semester or an academic period or anything like that knowing that uh, what the courses that um, knowing for most of the time that like well you know on the other hand and knowing about I'm like uh, you know six thousand dollars to ten thousand to maybe twenty thousand dollars is a lot of money to a lot of us it's like talking about you can even buy a car for about that much money but the way I think about it, though is knowing about I'm like really that uh, you know, if you, you know, fail once or twice and then knowing about I'm like, some things that more likely you don't understand and I'm like, yeah, well, you know, who's going to teach it to you? And like talking about, you know, for the tutors, I'm like the tutors that knowing about you need more time to study, you need more time, you know, and, you know, to study for like study hall, you know, time, you know, if it's anybody say that, yeah, well, you know, especially if you're going to be sitting at a desk, it's like you're sitting at home, uh, 
if you're going to be at home uh, sitting at your desk and then working in front of your computer for you know, quite a few hours and then the next thing you know it's like that the, yeah that the, you know well you know there are some things that more likely they are cried out are not counted towards credit hours and then uh, one of those will more likely be like well you know uh, according to the assignment requirements that that you, know, you were only supposed to do this or that and then on your hand too that you took the extra time to do a little bit more work well good for you but you know can't give you extra credit for that you know, that type of stuff but on the hand too the way I would think about though is knowing that uh, I'm sure some students would more likely say though that uh, that yeah that uh, you know they may be paying for something and knowing about that, that they, they may be paying you know to, to learn more about you know what they what they're teaching at the schools you know that type of stuff but on your hand and knowing about I'm like really that uh, knowing for whatever that you know for what they can work out for you know the teaching you know, knowing that um, that whenever a student comes to class and then they have what they need just to complete a course in a lot of ways it seems like some students you know even including me would probably think about that you know, that uh, that you know there was no manual or any study guide that they you know read really carefully so whenever they show up for for class one morning and the next day you know it's like that, the, that yeah something's missing you know that you know, you didn't you don't have all the notes that you need to have you know turn it in and teachers saying that you know something was due today and you don't have it well that that's just too bad ain't it you know that type of, but there are some teachers i'm sure they are pretty patient too as well but on the hand and knowing about i'm like yeah that they you might say that um that you know for on average just say on average that uh, a student only has a uh, on equal to about a thousand dollars a thousand dollars and then let's just say for a thousand dollars equal a thousand dollars equal to where a thousand dollars to uh, the amount of books and then uh, like if that goes to uh, you know a thousand dollars for the books and supplies and then a thousand dollars for paid for semester so it's like all together that that'll be about two thousand dollars two thousand dollars to most of us I'm sure is a lot of money so uh, two thousand dollars a year especially so if we were to it's like do the, the calculations though is knowing about I'm like you say that yeah well you know for knowing about for what's the student's responsibility for like the student manager and know if I, whenever they take care of their taxes and pay for their their books and their supplies and you know that type of stuff for what they need for the classes is knowing about I'm like yeah that um, you come to class and you don't quite understand something or that's something that you gotta do and then knowing about I'm like really you know why why does a school need to teach you the, the basics you know for what you know for what you need and knowing about I'm like well you know I'm paying for the course and whatever that you can work out knowing about you know for more tutoring service or if it's that you know more assistance uh, with something and just knowing about I'm like yeah that uh, that we, we may think though that uh, you know for paying for the service more likely that knowing about you know for who makes the decision for what you need to keep and what you need to get rid of that type of stuff but but just knowing about the whole purpose about knowing but between if we fail and we pass and and then it, you know succeed you know for if we you know, pass in the next level you know that type of stuff and knowing about i'm like yeah that uh, whenever you grew up whenever you turn 18 years old that a lot of times some students that say that, that whenever they turn 18 and they open up a bank account or that they ran, you know, they opened up their own business or something like that, you know, that type of stuff. But knowing about the future dream, the more likely that maybe some students would maybe ask for knowing about that, yeah, that uh, they were not able to save up enough money to buy a car. But then on the hand, too, that knowing about, you know, are we able to save up enough money to, to earn a degree, to earn a degree, to get a job, to where it, it, it takes you to, to earn that type of pass, you know, for study, and knowing about for the type of degree that, that most students would be working on especially at this right here was example right here of me and then if I were to be like which says like dressed in something in particular and then knowing about that look on my face more likely I may give too is knowing about I'm like yeah attach a sticky note and then give it to the teacher I'm like hand it to the teacher knowing about I'm like yeah if there was you know I uh, draw and then details about uh, if I turn in an assignment or something like that, and knowing about I'm like, yeah, that uh, sometimes that they say that the teachers ask you to where if you're posting uh, something, um, like if you're redoing something, that they ask you to go ahead and say that if this is a redo or 
and, you know anything that's uh, related to uh, you know if it's um, anything uh, such as uh, you know an, an add-on or something like that that they would ask you just like you know, please uh, you know leave a note saying about explaining what it is and then uh, but then on the other hand and knowing about I'm like yeah that uh, talk about is like yeah well you know I'm paying for the service so I can do what I want but <laughs> They may say that, well, it don't work that way each and every time. The way it works is knowing that, uh, you know, if you're, you got an assignment that's due, that you turn it into the teacher, yeah, but, you know, sometimes they say that, well, it's up to you about what color that you want to use uh, to remember to bring, uh, you know, the, the right pencil and paper, you know, to the class, you know, that type of stuff. And knowing about, you know, do most classes, are they really picky about what you wear, you know? <laughs> Well, they really picky about what you wear, and sometimes it's like that all depends on what school it is. But on their hand, too, I can remember back those couple of years ago that they said that you know, you're not allowed to wear hats to school or something like that, or you know, you're not allowed to chew gum during class or something like that. But let's just say, on average, though, if um, the requirement to wear that knowing about, yeah, that you, know, you show up for class, if you show up for class, and then uh, more likely that they, you, know, you had a forgotten to uh, you know you got you got a mechanical pencil right here let's just say that if you were to write down for for today's date for today's date and then for the assignment if I like, can you know, if it's you know for an assignment for assignment and then, uh, and then for the week and you know, what week is it and a lot of times it's like knowing about I'm like well you know you gotta you got a mechanical pencil. You're supposed to use a number two pencil, or maybe a three, a three, a three ten you know, a, a three ten you know, a, you know, writing ballpoint uh, you know, pencil or something like that. They're like, well, don't have one of those, and I guess you can't turn this in because you, you need to provide that type of pencil. But other than that, knowing about really, like you know, for most students, they ask it's like, you know, why is it that they are responsible for? A number of things but then on your hand too that they say that well the school pays for a number of things too you know not just about that you know if it's uh, between on school and maybe online and I could tell anybody here that knowing about I'm like yeah that uh, does online schooling feel kind of like being homeschooled and I can tell anybody here that maybe not really I'm like you know on your hand that uh, Mike you know you know, you know, you, you know, you are talking to other students online, you know, compared to maybe homeschooling that with homeschooling that, you know, you're kind of just talking to people that, that you're around, you know, that, you know, you're related to. But on your hand, you know, if it's a friend of yours, but you have right there as a teacher, it's like the teacher would be collecting any papers, you know, from the students, you know, that type of stuff. And you hear about it, it's like knowing about, I'm like, really, that, uh, that with the, the teachers, so the teachers that uh, you know they're there on a job and let's just say if they are a student as well and knowing about you know, how they manage you know for the cost of uh, things you know from teaching and then uh, learning you know, new skills that type of stuff so in a lot of ways you're like wondering though that uh, the teachers are teachers you know that they have like a it seems like that some that may say that you know the teachers automatically have it to where that they automatically have a degree in higher education no matter if a student you know, if you're a student and then, you know, and then compared to their level of study and they may say that, well, the teachers, you know, do the teachers go back to school for any reason at all, such as if they decided to study in something else and, and like, yeah, well, you know, more like that uh, school pretty much goes on, uh, I mean, you know, they say that, you know, school can go on forever as long as you work with it, huh? But on your hand and knowing about, like, for the students man, student manager and a lot of times some students that they say that, yeah, well, if I were to be paying for my finances and for the, the semester of college and knowing about my like, yeah, that uh, let's just say if you come in that situation where it says cash only, you know, whenever you're getting started, if there's like an application fee or the application fee, the application fee that most of them, I'm sure, to take your know, credit card and your know, Visa card payments, but let's just say if it's cash only, for cash only, like oh cash only like and yeah that's right the green stuff you know well, we're talking about this stuff right here like well like I, you know it's like like how much we talking about like and we're talking about you know just to get started uh, we're talking about between um 
between a fifty to a hundred and ninety dollars. You know, for for like you know for cash only, that some that may say that you know yeah that you know for like the deposit. A deposit a lot of times that requires up to at least um, you know up to at least a uh, you know fifty a forty percent is like a deposit you know, has to be equal to at least forty percent. So let's just say on average if it's like for cash only and knowing about that the when we get started that you say that yeah well you know you only have fifty dollars to work with like and well yeah you know, it's you know I guess you can't start until you can come up with the with it, you know, the, you know, the full reimbursement, you know, including the application fee, knowing about, I'm like, yeah, that, you know, they want cash, and like, knowing the things that, well, you ought to think about what I want, too, like, well, if you really want your degree, and then knowing about when I, you know, go to school, and then, you know, get an education, but, um, the way I would think about, though, is that with most of the time, that, um, if it's cash only, or if it's working out payments with a card, or with a, with payments, uh, you know, credit cards or anything like that, and just knowing about exactly that, uh, that really, that um, starts somewhere, and I'm sure that, you know, whenever you get paid later on, that you'll, you'll be able to work out even more, you know, it's like an increased payment as well. So it's like, and you say that, knowing about that, that you know, yeah, that uh, you're paying for the classes, so you'll learn it the way you want to learn it. But they say that, well, sometimes it's got to go by the rules too. But on the hand too, that, you say that yeah. Whenever you're, whenever you're young, that you think about a number of things that you want to spend. If you were to collect that thousand dollars to maybe five to six thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars, a number of things that you would like to spend it on, huh? Such as a, a pool table, or if it's anything to do with the car, automobile, or maybe your own workshop or something like that. But just thinking about is it, like you know that, that kind of money right there is like you pay. You know, you know, you pay for, you know, for a pawn, you say, for the agreement, and then as well as the education, and then, that, you know, the rest will be able to work out, and then knowing, you know, for, you know, for the, the student's manager, knowing about if anybody who collects, uh, you know, financial aid or anything like that, and knowing about, I'm like, really, that um, the whole part about being a grown-up, huh, the whole part about being a student is all about understanding about the whole purpose about, Going to school, you know, passing the classes, doing the work, you know, that type of stuff, and just knowing about Michael, that uh, you know, do do students really go to school, you know, just because it's a hobby? And and I I guess you could say I started the uh, I started school, you know, as for like for hobby reasons, but then on your hand too, to knowing about I'm like really, did I want to take my education forward? Is so far as. It's like really, you know, do you think do we think that maybe friends and family is like for parents, like there's something to be proud of and knowing about you know, if somebody that they know that you know they went to the college, you know, for a college education and then they wanna find a job later on. And it's like knowing about, yeah, well I paid for it and I can go ahead and, and do what I like with it and so, you know, like you know, it's like you know, at the you know, pass my classes and this is what I wanna do. And then knowing about, I'm like, really? That anybody said, yeah, well, be proud that you can pay for it on your own. Because on your hand, too, other than uh, saying that, I'm like, you know, you got, if you got student loans, and then student loans you got to work out eventually as well. But other than that, like, talk about right here. Knowing about this is taking one thing at a time so far as talk about, say, the student manager, say, kind of activity.